Behind me is the entrance to Old Oak Common. This is the place, there are many railway depots here, but we're in West London today in between Willesden and Acton to see where the HS2 station is going to be built. Whilst a lot of focus and attention is on the HS2 works taking place at Euston, there's a huge construction project taking place in West London as well, out on the site of Old Oak Common, where there will be a huge new station for HS2 that will also link other lines together. We spoke to Rob, who gave us an overview. We're a brownfield site, um, which will occupy two old depots. To the north of us, we've got Crossrail Depot. To the south of us, we've got the Hitachi Depot. And we're occupying the site of the Great Western and the Heathrow Express depots. The history of railway depots in this area is complicated, so here's a diagram to help you understand what's going on nowadays. In this area, or by the Grand Union Canal, you have the Great Western Main Line coming in and out of Paddington. It has four lines, two up and two down. In the north of our diagram is the new Crossrail Elizabeth Line depot, and we'll see some of their trains later. Also nearby are two branches of the London Overground and the Central Line with its station at North Acton. The area where we've come to today though is in the middle and is a combination of a former GWR and Heathrow Express depot and this is where the new Old Oak Common Station will be built. HS2 runs completely underground for over 22 kilometres from Euston and for its station here it will have six platforms down below in total. Then, the Great Western Railway lines will be slightly diverted so that they too will connect up and be part of the old Oak Common station. They'll have eight platforms in total here on the surface. Last year, before the work had started, it looked like this with all the old railway tracks from the depots still in place. Now though, the diggers are in and construction work has started. So we went outside for a look around. So all the main station buildings here, and it will go straight out that way with the six subsurface platforms just in front of me and then the eight surface platforms the other side of that um, the mound of excavator material to date but the the box wall is just at the edge of that concrete there the four tower cranes behind you um, are part of the development um, linked to the regeneration of the area but also there's other regeneration happening over towards North Acton which is all part of the the wider OPDC master plan, the Old Oak and Park Royal Development Corporation. Seeing Great Western Mainline trains whiz by was a reminder of how they'll connect up here one day by stopping here too. So we're in Area 1J of the site which is where the tunnel boring machines for the Euston Tunnels will be launched from. Um, just there, the ground is being remediated such that later on this year, early next year, we can start building the box to launch the tunnel boring machines and all of the excavator material that comes out will go by conveyor up to Wilson Euro Terminal and away by rail. There'll be six tunnel boring machines digging away deep down in the London area to create the tunnels. I know this is hard to imagine, but where I'm standing, you think platform 11? I'm going to have fingers, platform, 11. Platforms 11 and 12 11. are about 18 metres below your feet. So that HS2 platform is 11 and 12 are beneath me right now from this bit of gravel. These sheds used to be, used to house the Great Western Railway trains which have since departed. They departed in December last year, and they've now moved to other facilities across the southern part of the UK, to Penzance, Worcester and Reading, amongst other places. Going back to our map, it's also worth noting that the two overground branches have new proposed stations as well to be built nearby. They'll provide a walking connection with the HS2 station. And the HS2 station really will be a mega hub with high speed trains going up to Birmingham and beyond, as well as providing a connection through to GWR services out to the west without having to go into central London. And don't forget that Crossrail Elizabeth Line services will stop here too, linking you up all the way through to Shenfield and Abbey Wood out to the east of London. And when it's all complete, it should look something like this. The scale of the project really is huge. It's, it's massive, it's unprecedented for anything that we've got here. Think Canary Wharf, it's, it's the size of the air. The development opportunity here is bigger than that. And I'm the 
project is fantastic and I'm pleased to be part of it. So don't forget that whilst all the focus is on Euston, there's also all the major work and construction and engineering taking place out here in West London at Old Oak Common, what will be the future Old Oak Common station.